So we are going to make slow roasted halibut, zucchini carpaccio, uni butter sauce, and caviar. My feeling always is with food is teach people techniques. A recipe is a recipe. If you learn a recipe, you know how to make a recipe. If you learn a technique, you can make a thousand recipes with the technique. The reason that we are doing the slow roast technique is halibut is a very lean fish. It tends to dry out quickly. And one of the ways we're gonna control that today, we're just gonna cook this very gently and slow. And to do that, we're going to use a little bit of butter. Because this is lean, the fat in the butter is gonna help everything stay moist. So we are gonna take some butter and we're gonna spread it on our parchment. So we take our kosher salt, we liberally season, and now we take more butter and spread it on top of the fish. We're just gonna set this off to the side because this is only gonna take about 15 minutes or so to cook. We don't have to put this in the oven for a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on our sauce. So we're gonna make a clam broth and then we could use the clams again in the dish, but they're also gonna give our sauce a really nice shellfish flavor. The adventure starts now. Yes! And now we could start getting our shallots garlic ready. We're not gonna be using the shallots and the garlic. We're gonna strain them out. We just wanna get this peeled and then roughly chopped and in, and so we can start getting the flavor out of it. I'm gonna take our butter. I'm gonna put the whole stick in. We're gonna put our shallots in, our garlic in, our clams in, and one bunch of parsley in. We're just going boom, boom, done, going in. Good pinch of salt, like a four finger pinch. Shake this around, we're gonna let it go for a second. All right, so now white wine goes in, about a third of a bottle, lid goes on, and we're just gonna wait for these to open, which is gonna probably take about four to six minutes. And if one doesn't open at all, adios. Next thing that we're gonna start working on is our zucchini carpaccio or zucchini crudo, raw zucchini. And this is just gonna give our dish a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, a little bit of crunch. Fish is soft, the sauce is buttery and rich, the caviar is salty, so this is gonna break up all that. And we're just gonna bring these all the way around our plate, and then we're gonna season this. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lemon zest, extra virgin olive oil. You're just gonna drizzle it. All right, so our clams, and see, smell it. You smell the garlic, you smell everything that's going on in there. Now we just dump this, strain our broth, and you're gonna set your clams in here. Let them cool a little bit, and they're gonna be easier for you to work with. Before we start to continue to work on the sauce, we're gonna put the fish in. The oven's at 250, set your timer for 12 minutes. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer. Check it with the thermometer. If you're between 130 and 140, you're good. Next, we're gonna turn this into our butter sauce. I have this on high, we're gonna let it begin to reduce. But to it, I'm going to add a teaspoon of peppercorns, one whole bay leaf, a couple sprigs of thyme, one shallot. Again, we're only using the shallot for flavor, so you don't have to be pristine with your knife cuts. We're gonna put the juice in the lemon and a little bit of lemon peel. That's gonna go in. And again, we're straining this, so I don't care about seeds. Next, we are going to add some champagne. Ah! <laughs> None even touched you, D. <laughs> All right, <laughs> put it about half the bottle. And we're gonna reduce this by about two thirds. So it's gonna go pretty far down. If you were getting pinched for time and you put it in a bigger pan with a wider circumference, it's gonna reduce like twice as fast. We're gonna get the rest of our stuff ready here. We have some chives, get them all even and make this rocking motion to go through all the chives. So now we have our chives, that's done. Now, we're also gonna take our butter and we're gonna cut our butter into cubes so we could whisk it in properly to our sauce. For this butter, the colder it is, the easier it's gonna be for you guys to thicken the sauce. If the butter is warm and room temperature and soft, the chances of your sauce breaking goes up dramatically. So this is reduced, see? We're gonna strain it again. And the reason I have the coffee filter in there in case there was any sand in those clams, I don't want the sand in my sauce. 
and you go in, you stir it a little bit once it's in here to help kind of push it through. So now this goes back on the heat, heat goes down. Now we're gonna start whisking in our butter. We're gonna whisk a little bit in, bring it up to a simmer, add more. Whisk in, up to a simmer, add more. That whole time. If we throw it in all at once and try to do it, it's gonna get too hot and break. After we get the last amount of butter in, I'm gonna put a little creme fraiche in here, which is just a very nice French sour cream. It's gonna help stabilize this to protect you guys a little bit from it breaking. A tablespoon of creme fraiche, kosher salt. Now the last thing I'm gonna put in here is uni. So uni is sea urchin and it's taste of the ocean. It's briny and it's spectacularly good. So I'm gonna put in a half tray of the urchin and we're gonna puree the urchin. Now we're gonna take our clams and we just pop our clams out and put them right in your butter sauce. So now this is gonna just get stirred back together. The sure sign if fish is like over overcooked is it starts to get all that albumin and stuff coming out the sides. You could see that that's not existing here. We're still very tender. Sauce with the clams. Put a couple clams on there. Give this one more drizzle of olive oil. And a nice big spoon of caviar. That's it. What do you guys think? <laughs>